Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the herringbone stitch, which you can see here. Gives off this really cool sort of zigzag texture. It's a really fun stitch to do. Um, for this sample I'm using Shine Worsted from We Crochet. It's a really soft yarn, really nice. I'll put a link to it in the description. So the herringbone stitch is a two row repeat. It has a right side and a wrong side, as you can see. For the right side, we'll be working a single crochet in the first stitch, followed by herringbone single crochets all the way across. And then when we're working on the wrong side, we'll be doing a reverse single crochet, which I'll show you, and a reverse herringbone single, yeah, herringbone single crochet. <laughs> Um, might sound a bit complicated, but I will show it. And if at any point during the tutorial you feel like I'm going too fast, remember down here you can slow down the video if you need that. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so for this first row, I've already done a chain one, and we're going to put a single crochet in this first stitch. In the second stitch, we're going to work our first herringbone single crochet. To do that, you're going to put your hook under the left bar of the single crochet you just made, just like that, and then into the next stitch. Then yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that's your first herringbone single crochet. And we're just going to do that over and over again until we get to the end. Go under that left bar, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. When you get to the end of the row, you're just going to chain one and turn. Now, just like with the previous row, we need to put a single crochet in this first stitch. However, we're going to work this one from the back of the work to the front. So you turn your work over, insert your hook, into the back of that stitch, to the front, and then yarn over and complete your single crochet as normal. And we're actually going to work sort of in the back of the work all the way along. So for the first of your reverse herringbone single crochet stitches, you're going to go under this bar here, just like that. And then you're going to work into this next stitch again from the back to the front. Just like that. And then yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through all three loops. I'll show you that one more time. Under this bar here, and then into the next stitch from the back to the front, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's it, that's the two row repeat for the herringbone stitch. Okay guys, so there we have it, that's the herringbone stitch tutorial. And if you like this one, you might also want to check out my other tutorial for the herringbone half double crochet stitch, and I'll pop a link for it up here. And if you did like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.